get so excited when I hear this song yeah still doesn't make me still doesn't want to make me go back to go like doing doing this singing this like literally five or six times every single weekend no but but I'm absolutely loving the way that Cassie's starting very very quietly at the beginning often singers come at this song like full force and they just start like screaming at me at the beginning it's now I want you to think about a lovely thicker vocal fold sound and if you find these lower notes really difficult I want you to think about sighing down to them oh and you're going to allow the vocal folds just to open very slightly at the back. So, well, they only open at the back, Zoe. Duh. Lovely, lovely head voice sound there. Thinner vocal folds, keeping it all contained so we're ready to go at it for the for the last bit. Now, I have to admit, I have seen this. On the West End, it was definitely a huge moment for me because I really, really love Frozen. Um, but I also really love this song and I just think it's, it's really hard to sing. Yeah? Um, if you do want to learn a little bit more about belting technique, just yell at me belting in the comments because I, I really would like to do more belting videos and like how to belt, how do you can get your belt. Um, but I'm just umming and ahhing about whether it's something that you're interested in. So let me know down in the comments by just, yeah, yelling at me belting. Got these lovely thin vocal folds, but we're, we're really keeping the, the, the airflow low. There's no air in that sound. So you go, let it go, let it go. Can't hold it back anymore. And the thing is, though, with this thin vocal fold sound, because we're not going into that falsetto with that lovely uh, breath sound, it's going to help you go oh, to transition into more of that mix sound, which is a little bit of a thicker mix. Is really a bit of a funny thing. I want you to, to check out my discussion that I had up here with Gemma Sukru, who is like a mix expert. We were talking about what the main difference is between belt and mix, and how she recommends that you can work on your mix as well. It's incredible. Like what they've managed to bring to the stage for the view is like insane. But did you hear that as well? She goes, um, did you hear that as well with those, with those vowels? With the here I'll stand and here I'll stay. 
for those longer notes, she's opening up into more of a, I suppose you could call it an open vowel. Now, when we're talking about belt, we want more of a trumpet-shaped mouth, which is going to then in turn have an effect on the vocal folds, which is then going to decide what breath we're trying to take. We have to just mention that. Look at this lovely high cheeks. Look at this sort of almost like a, I like to think about it like a bit of a V kind of shade. She did this. It's again, it's a stylistic decision, but I'm loving that she's pulling it back in order to really reach for the last bit of the chorus. Watch this. Lovely high cheekbones. High, high cheeks as well. Even when she, like can I see bless. Now, what that's doing there is when we're lifting through the cheeks is we're going to get a great lift on the soft palate. I always like to think about people being like uh, sarcastically funny. It's like, I'm just going to do a smile really awkwardly because I don't think you're funny whatsoever, but this is painful. It's like a painful, funny smile. It's just tiring to watch. How fantastic is that? Wow, 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 wow. I love it. Cassie, take my hat off. Oh, I love it. I love it. Definitely the best way to end my career as a singing Elsa. Um, I'm on to other things. I don't know if they're bigger. I don't know if they're better. They're just other things. Um, and I'm really excited about having more time, especially to spend here with you guys uh, talking about vocal technique and geeking out. Anyway, have an awesome rest of your day and happy singing. Catch you around here next time. Kaki te ano.